beginner database design and SQL programming using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. This is Karl Mantov. I have just published a new book which should be available in your local bookstore also on Amazon.com. You can find it by the ISBN number or simply searching by my name. In this demonstration we are going to use the SSIS import export wizard export data we selected from the drop down menu to export the content of the production dot product table into a flat file csv format comma separated values format so the wizard is loading it's a little bit slow so this is our server, this is the database. Next we have to specify the destination, path, folder and the output file name. Following that we have to select the table. The destination is going to be flat file destination and we have to give a file name so we browse and we select the destination path folder and this is going to be the name of the destination file Copy data from one or more tables or views. We want the entire table, otherwise we can write a query. So we have to select the table. It's production.product. .product. This is the table. Now at this point we can do mapping. We can change the mapping If we wish, don't change anything. We can also change the row delimiter and we can change the column delimiter as well. And we can preview it. The data looks OK. It is important to check it here because if it doesn't look OK here, it's not going to be OK in the destination flat file. Next, we can run it immediately, save the SSIS package, or we can do both. Let's run it right away, finish, finish, 504 rows, so everything worked OK, close. Let's check the content of the flat file. So this is the flat file. Let's open it up with notepad. This is how it looks. Decreasing the size of the font so we can see uh, one row is uh, one record that corresponds to one row in the notepad file. We can also open the file in Excel. Just double click and this will bring it up automatically in uh, Excel. So this is how it uh, looks. It suffices to say that we may have to do some manual formatting for some of the columns because the default formatting may not have worked the way we expected but after formatting it should look okay. This is the end of the demo of SSIS export.